this short video uh, is going to talk about requesting um, background investigations for volunteers. A profile up of Prince Tinkerbell um, as our sample volunteer. And there are two things that we need in order to request background investigations from the Virginia State Police using the 230 name um, criminal name check uh, process. And we just basically have to verify um, who the person is based upon the information that's provided to us. Um, and the two forms of information that we need uh, is the person's photo. So here you have um, actually a good picture of Prince. Um, and we wanna make sure that we have unencumbered um, photos. So we don't have somebody with face mask on or wearing a hat over their eyes, sunglasses, things like that. Um, something that we can truly match their face with their license identification. So I'll come over to the credential section. We have an area where they can upload their identification. Now the identification has to be um, a government issued. So passport, military ID, DMV ID, um, that's validated who you are. So I would come in and look at the identification card of the person here, match it visually to the person's profile pic. If this is a document and, and by looking at it on the screen, um, you can't see what that person's face looks like, you should click on that document um, and for it to open up in a, in a separate pop-out box um, to look at the person's um, identification. Now, What's also necessary and very helpful for the admin team who runs background investigations is making sure that the person's first name and last name also matches um, what's in their profile. So say you looked at that person's ID and you realize that uh, Prince is just their nickname, um, then if you can see here, Lord is their first name, their legal first name. So when um, we do a background investigation, we have to use their legal um, name. So we would be using Lord Prince Tinkerbell in the person's background investigation. Um, the date of birth is in there so that we can also use that for the background investigation. Um, the race and gender is required as well. If the volunteers um, information that we have, those unique identifiers of their legal name, their birth date, their race and gender are not unique enough, um, we could result in a background investigation that quote unquote failed. Um, it didn't really fail. It failed to provide results to us. Um, and that would require us getting their social security number. Um, not something that we prefer collecting, but if necessary to run a background investigation and get the result that we need, we'll secondarily get the social security number. Um, and the third part of that, if for some reason the social security number didn't work, then we would have to refer um, the volunteer to get an in-person fingerprint background investigation. And those really are few and, and far between. But having this data um, in the person's profile is essential. Um, you could come down here to the admin tab. You'll see that no background investigations have been um, submitted or requested. Uh, so come to the, hit the submittal type. So obviously there's um, no form submitted because their IDs are in VDHS. Um, I'm not going to hit the request background investigation. Well, I guess I can, and then I can. Um, so would I like to proceed? Oh, and now it did the mess up. I think probably because this isn't an accurate volunteer profile, but if you hit the proceed, um, it will document who requested it and the date it was requested. Um, this section is new to COVID-19, so you may see no data in here, but you'll see data down in the, the results for background investigations. So it's pre-COVID, then this information would be filled out. Um, if someone has a um, failed background investigation and there are records um, in that person's results, so come over here, failed, um, then it would need to be reviewed. And then whether or not a decision to allow or deny the volunteer would be entered here. If it's denied, then a letter should be sent and the comments um, entered in here by whoever is um, reviewed 
uh, and made that decision. And then always, if you edit information in any section, you hit the save button.